guys, what's going on? It's Nock, welcome along to Infinifactory stream number 14. And last time out, having thought we was nearing the end, clearly we weren't, and we have a whole nother set of factories to do, people. Yes, we have a whole nother set. And apparently these are the hardest ones in the game. <sighs> this one, the Fusion Reactor, is supposedly the hardest. We did start off trying to have a look at Navigation Computer, but it was getting quite late. And um, I think, if I'm right, uh, I, I have a good idea of how to do it. It's just spacing everything out to actually get there. Uh, so... Without further ado, let us jump in. So, the idea here is to... Everything needs to be kind of working sideways, basically. Um, so yeah, we need to position everything sideways. We then slot this in sideways. And hopefully, fingers crossed, everything is like hunky-dory and works just right. I did add light switch. Thank you very much for the question. What's going on, Flame Tusk? Welcome along to the stream. Hope you are very well this fine, fine Monday evening. Um, so, I'm kind of debating whether or not to um, like get rid of all this and start from afresh. Um, with fresh ideas. Because obviously this is like my jar, jarbled attempt at this when I was like pretty getting pretty tired on uh, wet last Wednesday. Wednesday gone? Was it Wednesday? Yeah, it was Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah, last time we in Infinite Factor streamed. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I understand what I need to do. And to a certain degree, it is kind of working. But I kind of need to like pause things and do other things and yeah. First thing I should do is focus on getting the board where it needs to be. I'll tell you what, let's just, let's do what I said I was going to do. And we're going to just create a brand new puzzle. So when you say the, you're having a lot of buffering. It sucks. Uh, we're not dropping any frames, buddy. We're not dropping any frames, so... I apologise for any buffering you may be having right now. Damn you, Twitch. So when you say you're getting the board where I want it to be, do you mean... kind of like line it up to go here? Or do you mean to actually like line it up to get it into place to drop... to like slot it in at the side? Because the consensus from last week was it's recommended redoing the bottom portion of what you have. So What I am potentially thinking is, could I do something like this? Because this is like the level where I, it needs to go to, right? Let me see if there's just let me see if there is an option. Um, I've I've heard from various other people. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Um, 
Hold on. Just a sec. Uh, quality options come and go depending on resource availability. Partners are guaranteed. Affiliates and non-affiliates get whatever is left over with affiliates getting priority. So, yeah. Basically, it's, uh, it seems like it's hit and miss as to whether or not you actually end up with it on the day. Which is kind of poo-poo. Poo-poo? Wow. Did I really just... I just said poo-poo. I did. I did just say it. Uh, yeah, so basically it's... Unfortunately, it's out of my control. Uh, flame Tusk. So I do apologize about that. Uh, all right, so... Um, I want the I want it on there. Nope. Okay, that's what I want to do. That's what I wanted to do. So now what do I do? <laughs> now what? Um, so I want to... My thought process is right now is I get the, the whole plate to move across that way and then welders be on the art by our arms that would rotate in and out in then out of place. So, hold on, you kind of mean, if I'm understanding you correct, I'll just build it here just for, uh, so if I had like that there, and then say that there, something like that, you're saying? But how would I get it to rotate? Sort of rotates in the first instance, but then I don't see how that would work, uh, Flame Tusk. Giant, giant platform arms, and with two rotator going opposite ways at the end of the pusher arm. So do you mean, hold on, do you mean something like, hold on, we did this and this, so that and that, put that opposite with, say that there, and that there kind of thing. But that would need to be that one. 
Ooh, that that that's that's not good. Uh, I'm not understanding the concept, I don't think Flame Tusks, I do apologize. So do you mean like build something Almost like this kind of thing. So that's like my arm, and then let's say I would have welders there. Welders there, for example, and like one there. It's just, I don't know how, I, I don't kind of, I don't kind of understand how I would rotate it back. It's like the original orientation. That's like the big sticking point. The bit that I don't understand. Yeah, so I think you would do kind of something like, say, like this. So I am going to do. I'm going to take a quick screenshot of match your end goal here. Okay. You're just surmising. That's fine. That's fine. I think I think what's so daunting about this and possibly like the rest of the levels in this area it's just the sheer scale of things. It's such a big thing to like try and accomplish and that's where I'm kind of, it's kind of like where I'm really struggling to visualize anything. It's, it's such a big kind of task to undertake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, buddy. I, I appreciate that. And I can only apologize. This is kind of one of the reasons Although, obviously, I've now backtracked on my original decision, but it's kind of one of the, the original reasons why I wanted, why I went to Mixer is just because of, like, the, the almost non-existent delay. Uh, let me just do this. Oh, I can't do that. It doesn't matter. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, just, like, the non-existent delay was, like, one big thing. That was the, one of the big selling points for Mixer for me. But unfortunately, just Mixer wasn't working for me. So, I'm back here on Twitch. So... We used to, um, I used to recommend a program that you can get for free on the internet called uh, Livestreamer. 
and basically you watch it with it uses VLC media player and you watch the stream through VLC media player but we always used to have issues in the past um, back in the day with um, people buffering and whenever we would recommend live stream it just used to sort them out um, if this is on mix you'd be having a lot of robot voice the top half part what you had before was good okay so with the what I had before with the um, right, let's go with all this let's just try and actually do something I'm just doing a lot of talking not a lot of actual doing stuff so I kind of want to do, do you know what, I think I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. Ah, okay. Okay, so here, and let's put on the outside. So let's put the sensors here. They're gonna they come out at the same rate, right? Yeah. So I could in theory It's gonna wanna be No, oh, let's just do that. Go down the conveyors here. We have our mighty row of pushers, which is here. And it's coming out there. So let's think. I gotta do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six. No, it's just gonna be more from a block point of view, it's more effective to have a separate sensor. It's cheaper in the grand scheme of things. So that's going to do that. So that's that's sorting that out. And I need to build two vertical, two horizontal, and four singles. Okay. So, um, would it make sense to build... Try to think, would it make sense to build the welded ones on one side and the non welded on the other? So, the actual design is if I was to plan it out here one, one, two, one there. Two there, one there, one there. And that there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide and five down, right? Seven wide, five down. Okay. 
What I'm slightly concerned about what I did there is created a delay. Good evening, Eddie. How you doing, buddy? Now push your setup there because they all go the same way at the end point. Accomplish a lot of nothing. How you doing, Eddie? Hope you're well. Um, we're back with uh, Pipe Push tomorrow night, just so you know. Um, first two episodes are up on YouTube if you haven't seen them already. But uh, no, I've been enjoying that game, and I'm looking forward to getting back to that tomorrow. Over halfway, th over half of the puzzles are already done. So, yeah, I know. I actually, actually, yesterday I went back and I actually had to correct my YouTube titles because I actually put it as push pipe in the YouTube titles, and it wasn't until I was, um, I don't know what I was doing. But I somehow realised yesterday that it wasn't called Push Pipe, it's called Pipe Push. So, um, yeah, I do apologise about that. So, hold on. Okay, so... Just let me go back to what I had before. So what was I actually doing? Everything was coming together. And then I was doing my separation. Okay. looks like my, my big issue is that just looks like a, a big big mess man but all right so So, wonderful! Thank you very much for the host, buddy. Hope you are well. If you are around there, what's going on, buddy? Uh, the top part works really well. Just change the bottom part of your first solution. Ooh, okay. Should we go back? Let's, let's go back then to the first solution. If you think I'd be better off with the first solution, let's do that then. So what you're saying is this works well. And just to scrap this, right? It's very messy. I have to say. I don't know why I got that going that there. It just makes no sense at all. Ah, 
I know, I know. <laughs> um, all right, so next question. Should I, just ignore the top bit for a minute. Should I bring this across here like I was doing before? I mean, that's kind of like our benchmark for where we need to be. Or should I just do it all over here and then worrying about the lifting later? I mean, I guess it's going to make more sense to do stuff here, where it's like right above the Ujima flipper. All right, so I got too much of a delay going on here. I feel. So I need them all to drop at the same time. So all I need to get rid of these, and I need to drop it. Like it's hot. I think that was a yes to moving it that way. Think. All right, but in essence, I need to lose these so that they all drop at the same time or near enough at the same time. Again, it's just the sheer scale of this this build, man. Yes, the moving left. Okay. So I did that. I did that, and then I had. That just to block it, that to direct it, and I think I had that one there, I think. Another one higher. Oh, I've not come out far enough. So just for Flame Tusk, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Area Select tool. Look at that. It's, like, it's, it's, it's magical. So I think I was right with the whole position of this for a start. I should decide where I want my welders first. Well, they're being raised up too. So I think I want a platform here. So I want to come down here one more. I 
Actually, it's going to want to come another one. Look at this. I'm, I'm bossing this area selector now. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, so it's got one there. One there, one there. And then on the other side I got a two there. Have that one there. So here's the problem. The problem is slotting these in, but I suppose I could have the conveyors here just to slot them in one by one, right? That would work. And then I'd want that. That. Okay, so that would do that, that would do that, that would do that. So, let's just block that off for now. I don't want to deal with that right at this moment. So, this one. That one's the like the bottom one, right? So that one wants to come into here. Which is there. Attach 
ashes to the wall. Get rid of these ones. But yeah, that's problematic. Maybe I don't want to weld them all at the same time. Maybe. I would say Okay. Alright, so that's now blocking that, which is a problem. Yeah, okay, so let's go to this a minute. That one has to go there. That one goes to there. Then this one goes to there. Okay. So that's doing that much. the blocking part up by one. Uh, which parts are you referring to, Flame Tusk? Sorry, I missed your message. I was deep in construction thought. It 
Roxy, I think. I think get rid of these bottom ones for now. And then as we're coming around here and around here, we kind of weld them in here and then go back. That's my thought process. Also need to do this. So what that will do? What that will do is that will then push that one out. Okay, so then... Let me get rid of these ones. This one. Is that connected? Yep, nothing fell over. Okay. So, then. on some of these these welded parts. Which one is it? This one can't move. So I've got to get rid of this one here. that getting stuck on now it's this area here isn't it should be all right like that just to be safe So now I need to I can delay that slightly by another two.
Excellent. Okay. That's progress. That's progress. That's progress. That's progress. So. Right, so. Now. Where does that end up? Okay. Need to come out a little bit more. See, my only concern here is the further I move away from here, The further I move away from here, the longer, the longer it's going to take, and I'm worried about doubling up on these items. We'll see how it pans out. All right, so that's traveling down here. It's two. So we're going to want a welder there. Okay, so they are our positions. There, that should drop onto there. Just got to be a little bit wary. Yeah, I'm not going far enough across. Yeah, that's... You see, that's the new problem now. But I didn't foresee.
That's the only problem bit. It's it's that double. That's the only bit that causes the issue. That double can't get through. I was thinking about having a pusher maybe on like all of these welders here. So as it comes past, once that's gone past, it then pushes them in, welds them together. Um, so that would be... That would do... I'm just trying to think of what you just said. Is there a better order to like weld all these together? I think the answer to that is yes. What if I did the bottom row first? But then no, the, the shape of that is still problematic. All right, let's just do what I said I was gonna do. So. Let's get this. And then we want this. So I think I'm going to come in there. That's going to come in there. And this one. Can simply plonk its bottom. Right about there. Okay. So, this can't be connected to this. The actual connection needs to be like... Actually, that would suffice. And then, my sensor would want to be here. Maybe do a top sensor.
I actually look to see where that um, sensor came in. It wants to be higher. One higher. With the sensor there. Whoops! That's not good. I wonder as well if I need to actually delay like everything that's coming on secondary by one block. I think that would help. I think a counter possibly would be better. a counter because that way it will count the number of blocks before retracting. Alright, let's try the counter method instead. No, we'll leave that there, just for now. But the counter would be Counter would be here, I think. Well, I think I think that will have not the desired effect. Unfortunately. But we can try at least, at the very least. Sense is a better option, I think.
see the problem is <sighs> the problem is how do I get it to retract back Here, I'm going to have that to keep it moving. That's going to fail, though. Yeah, because then that blocks that. It doesn't fail, but what I would need that to it doesn't move it though My understanding of this would be that shouldn't rip. So I need to bring the sensor across once. shift everything now to the right one because that's now delayed unless I can minimize the 
Oh, I can minimize distance with this. It's fine. Actually. Okay. Okay. So now I just need to concentrate on this other bit, right? That's where we're going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so it's not enough room here to stop it unless I go all the way past and bring it back around again, which is a possibility. But Double item. Oh, crap. here and it's one two one 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 let's go there I think I'm gonna have to bring it this way I don't think I've got much choice about that Okay, so this is where I need to be aiming my thing for. So it was one, two, one, one, two. So it should be there, I think. Let's run it through. Are you supposed to weld this? Okay. 
But that's that's not a true representation because that's actually being pushed forward, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I think we need to do this. Just delay by two. Oh, it's the wrong freaking button. Oh, I really hate doing that. Will the world just go through? Will the world go through that? Surely there's no other way to weld it though, right? too far away. It's too far away. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no, no, I don't. Of course. Thank you, Flame Tusk. Yes. That makes lots of sense. So I would do instead... That's what I would do. Yes, underneath the water, because I need to... I just took a load of blocks out there. I don't know what I took out. It was there. I noticed that, wasn't it? So we're going to pass through... Wait a second. Well, them at the top, but I need to. That's where it's landing. Oh, can I not, can I, are, are you saying that I, hold on. You can do like, uh, like a weird world, can't you? It's like, hold on, this.
Wow, I was miles off with that weld attempt. I was trying to weld it like to the top of that one there. Guessing that's not the right thing to do. All right, okay. Am I looking for something like that? horizontal one must be behind the board okay so let's go back to what we had because I messed up all the conveyors and everything so that hold on that drops that onto there So, Then what, do I have a vertical welder going in here? All right, Flantus, no worries, buddy. Thank you very much for all the, the tidbits. 
It's not what we're saying. No, because then they're not touching. Right, so the vertical water has to be above the 2x2, two two, Flint has said. Let me just come in here again, though, and just watch where this drops. Okay. So. I need to take it one over. I need to slide it in from the side, because here... This needs to come across too. Then, gonna have that. I think that's the weld. Joe. I think I did done it. out a little bit more. Do you know what? I may as well just play it safe. We should be done. Should be done. Success! My goodness, that is... That was difficult. Thanks, Flame Tusk, though, for the like, advice on the weld. I don't think I would have got the weld if... Um, I don't think I would have got the weld if you hadn't have said that. Man, that was tough. That was pretty darn tough. Um, unsurprisingly. Um, now, I was told that these would be taking me like a stream at least to solve. So, um, I think I will be tackling these puzzles one stream at a time. I, you know, we're an hour and a half in. I don't really want to get into anything else right now. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support as ever. Um, Going to be heading on over to my good friend Boston Wafro right now, uh, who is streaming. Uh, everyone on YouTube, thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.